We're really fortunate today to have with us a very special guest, um, and that would be Jackie Rickard, my good friend and the namesake of the bill, and I'd like to uh, bring her forward here so she can say a few words to us today. see so many people here. I'd like to thank all the people of Berlin for having this, knowing that you're not being represented the way you're actually feeling. Our representatives should be the voice of the people. And in a lot of ways that that's not happening right now. So things like this just all bring me to tears. It's just it's so great for the people to actually know that they're not being represented and wanting to be represented, knowing people that have medical problems. Or because just it's the right thing to do. This bill is so important. There's so many people that are hurting. And Terry was talking the way it's written. It has to be this bill this time. Maybe it's not going to be exactly the way it's written. But we're all adults. We're really willing to sit down and talk about it. Discuss what questions or differences, but not just pass the bill over and say, well, next time, it'll, we'll get to it next time. We've heard that so many times. Like Mary Powers. Incredible. She'd be up at the Capitol every week for six months, <clears throat> trying to let people know, representatives know how important this is. She wanted this so much new, it was so right. But she lost her battle. On October 22nd, day 14 p.m., I was on the phone, I was speaking with her care provider at the time. She went to check on Mary. She came back. She said, Mary just took her last breath check. So Mary's not here to see this this day. I know she's here with us in spirit. I know that. So that, that, that proves that it has to be this time. People can't wait for another session, another year. Every time there's, let's we'll put it off until next time. That's more people that die or end up suffering a horrible death when they could have a little bit of cannabis if it helps them. Why not? Who is it hurting? It's hurting no one. We don't want to have anything to do with the black market. We want to make sure we get pure, clean medicine with no pesticides, no herbicides. That doesn't hurt the earth. It's helping the earth. I would much rather live next door to someone that's growing cannabis or someone for medicine than Eli Lilly. I wouldn't want to even check the soil samples living next to Eli Lilly. So I don't know why people are so say, well, I don't know if the people of my district would, would go along with you know, the growing part. The plant is beautiful, and what it does for people is beautiful. It does what no other prescription than drug it has been able to do for so many of us. As far as Marinol, a lot of us can't take it. I'm, I mean, it's completely out of the picture for me. I tried Marinol with completely open eyes, thinking, well, maybe this will hurt and won't have to go through this whole struggle. You can get up and go places and talk. And it would be maybe easier if you just stay at home, be a little more comfortable. This pill might work, but it didn't. I ended up having a reaction where my tongue actually swelled up in my throat. I mean, my tongue swelled up. It was a good thing my doctor made house calls. He ended up putting a straw between my cheeks so I could actually breathe. And the FDA was telling us that this was completely safe not harmful, that it was exactly the same thing as the God-given herb. 
It is in no way the same thing as the God-given herb. People that have had it, I'm, I've heard so many different, I think it's maybe helped a few people with some of the problems, but not all. Well, maybe it helps some with pain, but maybe it helps some with muscles, but they also have said that it makes them feel like they can't function, that they're like in like a high state where they can't really function, whereas with cannabis, you can, you can think, you become, I put this, um, after I couldn't even, when I got down to 68 pounds, a lot of things happened with that. I ended up where I couldn't hardly sign my name to something. And after I started gaining weight back, I kept looking at this ping pong ball. It was like, if I can draw something in that ping pong ball, I'll know that this works. Then I'll know it works. So after a few months, I actually picked up the ping pong ball. My daughter brought me a pen. And I drew a canvas leaf on a ping pong ball. And I was like amazed that I could even